Greetings my dear humans. From the Golden Book of History, I chose for you a man's biography. Alexander Graham Bell Alexander Graham Bell, or the father of the telephone, was a Scottish-American scientist and inventor. He was born on March 3, 1847, in Edinburgh, Scotland. He received most of his early education from his mother, Eliza Grace Simmons, a gifted painter and pianist, despite her deafness. His father, Alexander Melville Bell, was a professor who taught elocution to the deaf and had developed what was called the visible speech system to help deaf children learn to speak. Alexander initially attended University of Edinburgh and then the University College of London, England, but his formal education wasn't comparable to his peers in Victorian Britain. In the year of 1870, Alexander had to live a tragic event, which was the loss of two of his brothers Melville James Bell and Edward Charles Bell, both of whom died of tuberculosis. His family later decided to move to Canada for the sake of his health. And that's where he started working on transmitting telephonic messages, expanding on his father's work of teaching deaf people to communicate. By the year of 1872, Alexander founded a school of vocal physiology and mechanics of speech in Boston where he taught elocution to his pupils, just to be later appointed professor of vocal physiology and elocution at the Boston University School of Oratory. While pursuing his teaching profession, he conducted his research to perfect the harmonic telegraph, so as to transmit several telegraph messages simultaneously over a single wire. Alongside, he was also drawn towards another idea of transmitting the human voice over wires. With the help of his assistant Thomas Watson, the electrician, he was able to make the first telephone call on March the 10th, 1876, where he said, Mr. Watson, come here. I want to see you. Based on that brilliant achievement, the Bell Telephone Company was formed in 1877, the same year of his marriage with Mabel Hubbard, one of his deaf students, where they had four children, two daughters and two sons. But unfortunately, their sons, Edward and Robert, died in infancy. Al thought Alexander was famous for the development of the telephone. Many other inventions marked his later life including the refinement of the phonograph. His other exceptional works were in the field of hydrofoils and aeronautics. In all, he held 18 patents in his name alone and 12 that he shared with collaborators. Adding to that, he was one of the founders of the National Geographic Society in 1888 and served as its president from 1896 to 1904. During his life, he received many valuable prizes including the Volta Prize, Legion of Honor, the Albert Medal, the Elliott Crescent Medal, the IES Edison Medal, eight honorary doctorate of laws, two PhD, a DSC, and an MD from numerous academic institutions. In August the 2nd, 1922 at his private estate, Bean Breed, Nova Scotia, Canada, he died due to complications from diabetics. On his funeral, Every phone on the continent of North America was silenced in his honor for one minute. My time here is done for now. Don't forget to subscribe, since my only way to meet you, my dear humans, is throughout those videos. I still have many things to share with you.